you have to guess what this one is. And that, that can be the start of the video. What is it? I don't know. Ricky Martin. How am I meant Living to... Living La Vida Loca. <laughs> There's one book that has changed my life as a designer more than any other in the last year. And it's a book that I'd never heard of. And it's a book that almost every designer I speak to has not read. So today I want to talk to you about that one book. And it's the one book every designer needs to read. The book is Made to Stick by Chip Heath and Dan Heath. This book is an absolute masterpiece in how to communicate ideas. If there's one book that you need to read, if you want to figure out how to communicate ideas clearly to other people, it's this one. This is the Bible of communication. Before I jump in and talk about Made to Stick, I just want to say if you want more videos like this, more book reviews, more deep dives into design topics, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We have new videos almost every week and a massive back catalog for UX designers, UI designers, all 100% free, so make sure you check it out. So why, as a designer, should you read this? Well, as a designer, your job is not just to make things look good, it's not just to, you know, make cool apps and cool animations. Your job is often to present ideas to other people, whether it's your client or whether it's actually the customer that's going to be using your product. And us as designers, and actually people, generally do not do a good job of presenting their work or do not do a good job of presenting products to people, especially once they've been working on it for quite a while. And the core of this book, the core idea, is that us as experts, us as designers, we have something called the curse of knowledge. As soon as you work on something for enough time, even if it's a day, you suddenly have more knowledge about that topic than the people you'll be presenting it to. So let's say you're creating a shopping app and you've been working on it for six months and for you, the wish list system totally makes sense. And you know, for you, the navigation totally makes sense. For you, the naming of the categories totally makes sense. But you bring it to a user testing session and you realize that you didn't actually have it right. So what happened there is that you knew things and the customer didn't know what you knew and this dissonance caused a usability issue. There's an amazing example in the book from a study where people tried to tap songs to each other. So one person was the tapper and let's say they would tap happy birthday to another person. So this is how that would sound. You're the listener and I'm the tapper. Okay, so I'm tapping happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Okay, the tapper almost always believed that the other person would get what they were tapping. I can hear the song while I'm tapping. And Callum, who's behind the camera, is just hearing this noise. And, and that's a perfect demonstration of the curse of knowledge. I believe that he's going to understand what I'm doing because I have a lot more context than he has. I have the curse of knowledge. Now, this is a really common problem as well when you're presenting things to clients, when you're presenting ideas back to clients. You present back to them with the curse of knowledge. So you say, oh, and on this screen they do that, and on that screen they do this, and on this screen... But the client maybe doesn't actually have any of the context of how you got there. And this book goes through a really, really great framework on exactly how to structure presentations so that they stick in the head of people and so people remember them. For me, this has been one of the most important and life-changing books in my career as a designer in the last year. And it's really changed how I present. It's really changed how I explain things to clients, how I explain things in the copy that I write in apps. And it's, it's completely changed the game as well in terms of creating concepts and, and being able to explain them in a much more clear and concise way. So for me, Made to Stick is really the one book every designer needs to read ASAP. And I hope I've been able to present this to a couple of people who've, you know, either not heard of this book 
or seen it on the shelves and thought it wouldn't be relevant for them as a designer, but this book is an amazing book if you're a designer. It's going to really get you ahead. I'd love to know in the comments what books you think would be worth talking about, which are not obviously design books, which helped you in your career. If you read Made to Stick, let me know what you thought about it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a like. If you want to watch more like it, hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. So what am I tapping now? What am I tapping? Jingle bells. Jingle bells, damn, he got it. He got it. Okay, let me try another one. Let me try another one. Um, that's, that's not a good example because most of the time people don't get it. Okay, let me try another one. That's What is it? I don't know. Oh, Christmas tree. That's not that common. Oh, Christmas tree. Okay, I'll do one more. Um, you can cut all of this in. No? No. Okay. Pretty fly for a white guy by the offspring. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!